あAnother episode of Wednesday Night Smack Talk, and we are here on episode 200 of Wednesday Night Smack Talk. That's right, 199 Smack Talks have passed. 100 was on a Kangamania predictions. 200 just a few weeks away from yet another Kangamania. Two years later, almost four years of Smack talking has been done. And I want to thank you for every second of it. Everybody in that premiere chat right now, everybody that's on Twitter talking about it at any point, anybody that's ever said a single word about Wednesday Night Smack Talk in the Kane Corporation's YouTube channel. Now, tonight for episode 200, I have some big, 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 big announcements. And you know what? We'll get the first one right out of the way right now. Boom, boom, bop, bop, bi bop, bow. Ladies and gentlemen, at Kangamania, we will have, yet again, the everlasting annual Figgy Memorial Battle Royal. That's right. The Battle Royal for my dead dog that's been dead for years now is still happening and next week i will have a discussion with the five members of this battle royal on smack Talk. no promos from all of them i'm gonna sit all of them down ask them some questions and you're gonna find out who's all in the match and just just some things about it you know who's in it what their aspirations are, what they will receive if they do win the match. But yeah, we'll see all that next week. That's the first announcement of the week. Now, I'm going to save my second announcement for later on. But, for right now, I'll let somebody else who has a big announcement announce. Take it away, the man of business. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's the business man. And I am here today back to tell all of you that I have made a business deal. A deal that, to be precise, is an acquisition. Now, with Dice quitting on us, quitting the league, you know, I understand, we're friends still, we talk, but we need somebody, somebody, to fill a spot in our trio. Stuck at me and the keto, of course, of course, but we need somebody to fill our spot. And I have gone and done it, I've perused, I have switched. And I have found the perfect member of this KKPL roster to join our trio and make us top of the league yet again. And my announcement for this episode, Kang, is just that. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Kang, gang, as they say, I don't like that. Business, boys, I like them more. You will find out who this acquisition is in the coming weeks, naturally. You don't need me to announce it to you and tell you outright, because you will find out. And when you do, it'll already be too late. 
that's all. Thank you for your time. Business man. By proxy, El Tejido. We are both. O. U. T. And that's from the mouth of T. B. D. Look at that. TBD and the business man have made an acquisition. As he said. They've secured another member of their, well, former trio to make it now, again, a trio. Ever since Darcy, of course, uh, put a stipulation on himself that he would quit if he didn't win the Royal Rumble. And, well, he didn't win, so he quit. And we haven't seen him since. Uh, he's been released, officially. And I don't know if we'll ever see him again. But I do know now that the businessman has found a replacement. So, as he said, we'll see who that person is in the upcoming week. Um, I have no inkling, and maybe you do. But as for now, we just have to wait. Now, last week we had a bunch of the losers from the last pay-per-view uh, show up and say some things about their losses and about their futures. One person we didn't have might have been the biggest loser of them all. That person is Paul. Because he won the Royal Rumble 2022. And he was supposed to main event King of Mania in a title match. But he accepted a match at the pay-per-view before. Just because he was being nice, just because maybe he was ready to fight. But I'm sure he expected to win and not have Brandon cash in. And then Brandon immediately challenged Zack to a rematch at Kangamania, leaving Paul completely out of the picture despite him winning the Royal Rumble. And this week, well, Paul's got something to say about that, and Paul has an idea. So here I'm out, just as I did, and just as I'm, I'm about to do again, and, and we'll decide if his idea is correct a mundo take it away Paul okay here we are live everybody okay oh Jeez. Ah, well, greetings, KKPL. It's been a little bit. So, kind of got screwed over. I got caught in the crossfire of the Epic Boy. So, it was the innocent bystander. You know, I was just walking around, around my Christmas tree, and a happy holiday. And then all of a sudden, Brandon cashes in. So that makes it to where I have to completely change everything because now, you know, you're in the hole and that's not fun. So, eh, I lost. I figure I can let those two guys, let them figure it out. You know, no more, no more need to get caught in their crossfire and see who the epic one ends up being. And so I'm thinking... King of Mania is around the corner. Who am I going to face? I remember not too long ago there was a open challenge. And then I remembered. Hmm. Yes. I do remember. That you said I like my steaks well done. And I don't. It is horrible. Anyone with good taste would never eat a steak that's fully done. Fully cooked. Might as well just eat it burnt. What are we playing? Seven Days to Die and eating char charred meat, charboiled? This is not Burger King. Get out of here with that nonsense. So anyway, yes, Mikey, you, the Postonian one, I challenge you for the TV title. It's Kang Amania. Ah, should be should be interesting, and hmm. Oh, 
I'll be waiting for you. So, Paul wants a match against Mikey for the TV title. And he wants it to be the main event of WrestleMania Wednesday. That way, he gets a title match, not for the Predictions Championship, but he gets a title match. And, technically, still in the main event of Kangamania. You know, Paul... Uh, Mikey was looking for an opponent for the TV title. He was also looking towards a triple threat match, but he was also looking for a TV title match. And uh, I know you're looking for something, and I'm sure Mikey, being a golden god, is nothing but fair. We'll hear from him next week, but when we hear from him next week, I think you know what the answer is going to be. So, Paul, maybe you could not be a loser after all. Congratulations, maybe? Premature? I don't know. But we will know next week when Mikey comes out as a gay. No, when Mikey comes out and gives him an answer. Now, also, we had Zach, a loser, just like Paul, in that Predictions Championship match last week come out here on Smack Talk with just the, the, the worst microphone quality of all time. And uh, air out his grievances against Brandon. And this week, I have received what I maybe could call a response from Brandon. Um, I want to warn you, what you're about to see is graphic. If you are faint of heart, uh, you may need to look away from the screen. But it's something that I am going to show here tonight on episode 200. So go ahead, take it away, Brandon. I got another riddle for you, Zach. What's yellow and a slave to society and wearing a little sun hat? You don't know what you gotten yourself into, Zach. I'm a fucking... This shit's been going on way too long, Zach. It's been going on way too long, and it's ending all here soon. It's ending all here. This is what I'm going to do to you, Zach. This is what I'm going to do to you. All this. I could do this. I could do this. I... Or I could do this. My heritage. The Carolina Hurricanes. <sighs> This is you, Zach. This is you. This is gonna be you at Kangamania, Zach. Yeah. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you, Zach. That's gonna be you. This, oh. this is gonna be you too, Zach. This. This is gonna be you. This is gonna be you, Zach. You did this. And for the last time ever at Kangamania, this will all end. This will, this will all end. And that's the Joker's trick. Brandon has shown that he now respects Zack. Zack respects Brandon. They both realize that they are two of the greatest competitors in this league. The greatest rivalry in this league. But that does not mean they like each other. Brandon is willing to go that far. If that truly is a representation of what Brandon is going to do to Zach, then Zach, you must be prepared to do the same. For the final time at Kangamania, we will see these two against each other. And I don't know. Seeing that promo, I don't know if we'll see them both walk out. Brandon has got a fire in his voice, a fire in his thighs, and a fire in his crotch that I've never, ever seen him have before. And 
we'll see how that goes at Kangamania. Now, for the final announcement of the night. Now, of course, we've had the Figgy Memorial Battle Royal and Bennett Man announcing an acquisition. But there's one more. And this one is the biggest of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, yet again, we are bringing back the Masturbating Kang Awards. That's right. Everyone was thinking that it would happen. Except WWE, apparently, because I haven't had time to schedule it. I've had, you know, not enough time in between pay per views to have a build and also have the award show. But now, ladies and gentlemen, with five fucking weeks of build for Kangamania, I have enough time to do both. And at Wednesday, at Wednesday, on Wednesday, the 23rd of March, just a week before predictions. We will have the end of the year for 2021 ceremony, the Masturbating Kang Awards, where you vote on your roster members to receive awards that they are worthy of receiving. The 23rd of March, next week, you will see that I'm going to have a, a poll up, a uh, Google Docs or Google Spreadsheet, some fucking Google thing, I forget what it's called, with all of um, the nominations and the categories and probably clips and such to refresh your memory, and you will vote. And then on the 23rd of March, the Masturbating King Awards will happen. You'll find out who's won what and what is who and won what who. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my announcement. The Masturbating Kang Awards did not ha go on a hiatus this year. Uh, I just had a hard time scheduling it. And it's back in a damn big way. Thank you yet again for being here for all 200 episodes of Smack Talk. I will see you for 300, 400, 500, and all the way to 1,000. Unless I die. Yeah. So... Like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this specific episode. Liking, commenting, and subscribing. And turning on notifications. And as for Smack Talk 200, and as for Masturbating Kangaroo, I'm out. I'll see you next week on 201. Where we hear responses from people and all of the likes. We have just a few more weeks until kang ga me ni ya So, you don't want to miss these next couple weeks because they're going to be doozies alright that's all I have for you so get out of here listen you've seen 200 of these is this not enough just leave there's nothing left just go what are you doing get out of here come on get 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 out of here what are you doing still listen I'm still talking here but there's nothing of substance. Just go. Click off. Click the X. At least mute it. I mean, come on, dynamite's on. <laughs> Are you seriously still here? Fine, I'll just I'll just turn it off then. Fuck you. Bitch. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Thank you. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you, guys.